Hey, Les. We're going to draw straws. Whoever gets the long one gets the assignment. You ready? Done. In your face. The assignment was to meet this pilot at Witham Field in Stewart. Not just to meet him, though, but to fly with him in his jet, Angel 7. But how do you prepare to fly in a jet? First, I got a sweet pair of aviator sunglasses. Then I watched Top Gun 15 times in a row until I had it memorized. That's right, I am dangerous, Ice Man. After that, I got to know the pilot. Uh, I'm Peter Jacobs, uh, the owner and pilot of Angel 7 and L-39 Albatross. Peter Jacobs has been a pilot for 45 years now. He's flown in over 125 air shows during the past 10 years, is a member of several prestigious pilot associations, and is no stranger to the Stewart Air Show. This is actually my 10th consecutive Stewart Air Show, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've had a wonderful time in the air show business, flying first the T-28 and more recently the the L-39. The L-39 made its first flight in 1968. An efficient, powerful turbofan engine and sleek fuselage makes it a strong, economical aircraft and the standard training jet. This is a wonderful airplane from the standpoint of dependability. Uh, it's got all the performance characteristics of any jet fighter. Uh, it's not a, not a supersonic airplane, of course. Uh, it's a straight-wing airplane. It's built as a trainer. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a ball to fly, and uh, it's extremely maneuverable, as you will find out shortly. Shortly? We were only in the air for three minutes before Jacobs asked, Would you like to do a roll? Uh, yeah, you can open it up. We need about 250 knots. Out for the citation, 12 o'clock, 2 miles on final, descending on to 7. All right. What we do is put the nose down, get ourselves a little more speed. Discretion, runway 30, clear to land. All right, let's stop bring the nose up. And number 20, sir, stop stop it. change the roll. Beach on 128.3, good day, man. Oh. Good day, good day. Oh my God, that was incredible. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that is. It's called an aileron roll. The Angel 7 has to go a minimum of 250 knots when the pilot pulls the nose 15 degrees above the horizon and then rolls the aircraft to the right or left. The maneuver pulls 1G of force, and Jacobs told me that the maneuver is so smooth, if there were a cup of coffee on a shelf in front of me, the cup wouldn't slide off and the coffee wouldn't spill. Not soon after that did Jacobs again inquire. And you want to do another roll? Yeah, of course. Okay, we'll try this with the uh, front cockpit camera, which is the one looking right over my head. Okay. So you'll get an idea of what that looks like from the pilot's point of view. Nose down, a little over 250 knots. Bring it back up 15 degrees, stop it, and roll. The L-39 is 40 feet long, 15 and a half feet tall, and has a wingspan of just over 31 feet. The engine, one 3,000 thrust Ivchenko AI-25TL, which gives it a max speed of 485 miles per hour at 19,600 feet. Basically, it can do this, and note the grunt. Here we go. Do it. You can see Peter Jacobs and his L-39 this weekend during the V&A Air Show November 8th and 9th at Witham Field in Stewart. Gates are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with air shows beginning at 1 p.m. Wondering what happened to Les? What'd you do all day? Made this. Oh, that is sweet. Let me see that. For TCPOM.com, this is Flynn Fidgen.